हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 3.4 चैप्टर नंबर 3 रिवर्सिबल एंड इररिवर्सिबल प्रोसेसेस फ्रॉम द बुक ऑफ फ्लाइट थर्मोडायनेमिक्स बाय टीडी स्टॉप एंड रिकॉल की द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज स्टीम एट 7 बार ड्राइनेस फ्रैक्शन 0.9 एक्सपेंड्स रिवर्सिबली at a constant pressure until the temperature is 200 degrees centigrade calculate the work input and the heat supplied per unit mass of steam during the process so first of all uh, i will write the given data the pressure is given that is 7 bar dryness fraction represented by small x is 0.9 temperature t2 after expansion is 200 degrees centigrade and we are required to find two things first the work input that is w12 and second is the heat supplied per unit mass that is q so first of all at 7 bar with dryness fraction 0.9 we will check the properties from the saturated steam pressure tables if we visit the saturated steam pressure table so at 7 bar we have some properties if we draw the pv diagram for this uh problem so we can draw it like this this is the pressure this is the volume so if we assume that this is specific volume it will become small v saturated liquid line and saturated vapor line this is the critical point this is the superheated region this is the mixture region and this is the compressed liquid or subcooled region so initially the state of the steam is inside the this dome so expansion starts from this point suppose this is point 1 and this is point 2 so at one we have different properties that is the state is in the mixture region while state 2 is in the superheated region so at state one we will read the properties from saturated steam pressure table while specifying the properties as state 2 we will read the values from superheated steam tables at 7 bar so first of all for saturated steam if we check the specific volume at point 1 so we can write that v1 is equal to x times vg where x is the dryness fraction and vg is the saturated vapor specific volume so if we put the values dryness fraction is 0.9 while the value of vg from this table is 0.273 cubic meter per kilogram so the value of v1 comes out 0.2455 cubic meter per kilogram also at 7 bar and 200 degree c the steam is in superheated state and from superheated tables if we look to that value of v it is almost 0.3 so at 7 bar and 200 degree centigrade 
we have the value of v that is v2 v2 this value and it is 0 0.3 cubic meter per kilogram also for finding the work input we have the expression work from 1 to 2 there is the work input required minus p times v2 minus v1 as this is isobaric expansion and the pressure is given so putting the values minus 7 into 10 raised to power 5 converting bar into pascal the value of v2 is 0 0.3 and the value of v1 is 0 0.2 Two four double five. So simplifying this, the work input required is thirty eight point two kilojoule per kilogram. Also, to find the value of heat supplied. For that we will need enthalpies at these points, enthalpy at point 1 and enthalpy at point 2 means we will require H1 and H2. So for step 1 to find the value of H1 it is simply equal to HF plus x h f g also, also we can write this expression like this h f plus x h g minus h f so putting the values the value of h f from the table is 697.2 plus value of x is 0 0.9 and HG value is 2764 HF value is again 697.2 so simplifying this the value of H1 comes out to double file 7.3 kilojoule per kilogram also to find the value of H2 visiting the superheated tables the value of h is 2846 and the unit is kilojoule per kilogram per kil1 so the value of h2 from the superheated steam tables is 2846 kilojoule per kilogram this is the value at 7 bar and 200 degrees centigrade so heat supplied can be found from the difference of these enthalpies and it is H2 minus H1 so here H2 is 2846 kilojoule per kilogram while H1 is 2557.3 kilojoule per kilogram. So subtracting it from we get Q is equal to 288. 7 kilojoule per kilogram so in this problem two quantities were required to find first work input and second heat supplied per unit mass that is solution start from here so this is all about the solution of problem 
thanks for watching please like and comment on my videos also subscribe my channel to get new videos